Hey guys, um, I have two quick videos for you guys today. Um, the first one, I'm filming this on Thursday, so it's kind of cheating, but I'm probably not going to post it till tomorrow, so it's like a Friday read, so I'm filming on Thursday. But anyway, um, just like a quick reading update for what I've been reading recently. Um, oh, wait, hang on. Okay, there we go. Got it. Okay, so um, I read Saga Volume 1 by Brian K. Vaughan um, and Fiona Staples. Yes, Staples. And um, I read this because I went to a used bookstore today and I was considering, like, I wanted to read this and make sure that I liked it enough to keep it because if I didn't, then I was going to exchange it when I went to this bookstore. But um, I read it last night and or last night, no, two nights ago, and I really enjoyed it. Um, the thing is, though, like, I started this, and at first I didn't actually, like, the art's fine, but I didn't like it as much in the beginning, I think because it was taking me such a long time to get used to the alien species in this. Like, um, like Marco and Elena, totally cool, fine, but... Some of these other species, like the robot kingdom people, where they're like human bodies but television heads, like, that was too weird for me. Like, it's still too weird. Um, and what were the other ones? Oh, the other ones were the um, women on Sextillion, where they have giant heads and then just legs. That was too strange. Like, I, I did not like them at all. Um, and I don't know, like, the robot people, I kind of got used to. But yeah, so it, it took me a good while into this to actually get used to these other species. And I still think that the robot people and the head leg people are too strange for me. Like, I just... It's too weird. Um, but I like the others. Um, and I got used to the art after a while. Because my thing about this art is that all the colors are, like, really beautiful. But I, like, I think when I showed you guys my comic, or my graphic novel haul before, I showed you guys the, um, Addy Grenov cover for Iron Man and said that I loved it because it looked like a painting. That's the kind of, I love soft lines and just really colorful and beautiful. And these are great colors and everything, but the lines are just really harsh. And it's just not my kind of thing. And I know that I'm completely 100% alone in that opinion about this. Because some people literally only like Saga for the art. Um... Most people like it for the art and the story. I like it mostly for the story and for some of the art. Like, I mean, there are some art panels in here that I just think are really cool. Like, hang on. Um, is it this one? No. I don't know. Um, there was one in here that was chill that I liked, but I can't find it anymore, of course. Um... Oh, it was the tree one. Hang on. Wait. That one. That, to me, is gorgeous. But it's because it's soft and nice and looks like a painting. And, yeah. So, I don't know. The art in here is hit or miss for me. But the story was wonderful, and I loved it. And I loved Hazel's um, narration. And I am really excited to continue on to the second one um, that my friend lent me, and I've put my name on the waiting list for three and four. Um, and I've also, I read Life on the Refrigerator Door by Alice Coopers, which I'll talk about at the end of the month, and Matchless by Gregory Maguire, which I'll also talk about at the end of the month, and what was the other thing? Oh, Curious Case of Benjamin Button by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which again, I'll talk about at the end of the month. And I read all three of those because, um, again, I was going to this bookstore and I wanted 
to grab some quick reads that I could just read really quickly and figure out if I wanted to keep them or not. Um, and those were three that I saw where I was like, I can read these really quickly um, in like an hour and just see if I want to give them away. And I did end up giving all three of them away, but um, with Matchless and Life on the Refrigerator Door, I did sincerely really like those, but they just weren't the kind of books where I thought I am going to reread this over and over and over again. Um, and Curious Case Benjamin Button I didn't like, and I'll talk about that again at the end. Um, but yeah, now for some things that I'm going to be reading. Today, I'm not really in a reading mood. I'm more of in a Stargate Atlantis TV kind of mood, so I'm probably going to watch some SGA now that I have Amazon Prime back. I might watch some Bally Kiss Angel, I might watch Arrow, I'm just, I'm in a TV mood, not a reading mood, um, but I still might read today, I don't know, um, I have my options, I might read, um, uh, Sleeper in the Spindle in here, because it's quick, it's only like, it'll probably take me an hour, um, or Rover Random by J.R. Tolkien for the same reason, or Preludes and Nocturnes, again, for the same reason. Um, and if I read Preludes and Nocturnes, I might read one or both of these. Um, it just really depends. I'm kind of, again, I'm, like, much more of a TV mood today, so I'm just not really sure. Um, and then one thing that I started last night was I also started Howard's End by E.M. Forrester, um, I'm only a few chapters in, like, literally ten pages, maybe, and I'm enjoying it, um, but when you're not really in a reading mood, you don't really want to pick up a classic, so I'm probably going to pick this back up tomorrow, I think. Um, and honestly, I'm getting... I was in this mood where I was like, classics, classics, I need to consume all these classics, and I'm still really excited to read some of them. Like, I really want to read this, and I really want to read The Odyssey um, as well. But I'm kind of getting more out of my classics mood. Um, like, I feel like maybe I need to read American Gods or something to kind of space them out a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we'll see about that. But I am enjoying this, and I'm going to watch the film when I finish it. Um... And I'm also listening to the audiobook that I have out from the library, which is another reason why I kind of dived into this really quickly instead of reading some other things in between my classics, is I have this audiobook out from the library, I have the Odyssey out, I have um, the Jane Eyre audiobook out to read with my physical copy of Jane Eyre. So that's kind of another reason why I'm just getting all these classics at once, is because some of them are time-sensitive. So, yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think of any of these, obviously without spoilers if you don't mind. Um, and again, I'll talk more about all those short things that I read at the end of the month. Um, and I might do, with Saga, I think I'm going to do an overall review once I've finished all four volumes. Um, so yeah, look out for that uh, sometime, probably not till like March, I guess. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and my next video is going to be a small haul. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.